Hello fellow Vault Dwellers, this is the Cajun Wastelander and today I am joined by the Chinese zombie cat of Elder Maximus. Yeah, underneath in underneath the mask, the guys, he has his uh, character look like Elder Maxon. And if you look around, I've done a few new things with the with, with the house thanks to my friend here. You can kind of see in there, like, I might do a, f a tour later, but right now we are going to be going get Polly her new body. Gotta say, I really like Polly. Uh, I like the Assaultrons when they're not trying to rip my head off. Because, I don't know, I, I like that they actually kind of have a personality. Hey, yeah. Chaos, you want to say something? You want to say anything, you cat... Chinese Maxon? Hello. Okay, that's all he has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not really uh, he's had experience with uh, other people like doing broadcasts and all that, so he kind of doesn't he told me earlier that he kind of doesn't really talk all that much, so uh so yeah, uh, Chaos, uh, you know where we're going? Uh, yes, Summerville. Would you like me to, uh, fast travel there? Yeah, because I can't, uh, because I, I can't fast travel there, and I don't uh, wanna... I mean, it's not far, but still. Okay, so this episode is just going to be... Getting Polly's body, and then also the dialogue involving the other stuff. But other than that, we're not really going to be doing a whole lot else, because, like I said, I am trying to keep these episodes fairly short. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk to this guy, and then we'll see where he's hiding the body, even though I already technically know where it is. Wait, can I? Okay, yeah. Okay. Hello, Skinner. Yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, this robot, for some reason, is really in, think like, thinks that people are ghosts. Oh. Huh. And here's one of the best parts. Here is one of the dialogue choices. Silence! I am the ghost of Appalachia Future, and I have a demand. <laughs> You can also say I'm a customer, not a ghost. Got a couple of screws loose, hey pal. But let's go with this and see just what he says. So I thought. No need to put on airs with me. I understand your plight, spirit. My name's Skinner, and I am trapped in here, much like you are trapped in undeath. Now, what do you require to leave me alone? I love this I love this robot like this I don't know why he believes in ghosts but I'm I'm also going to just keep rolling with it this spirit requires a host and a sultron body Whoa. <laughs> I want to see how far I can get this And you can keep going with this. How dare you? I am the ghost of Duncan himself. You will give me this robot. <laughs> I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, I mean, when are, when are you going to run into something like this again? You. You are a Duncan. Hmm. I perhaps see some distant resemblance in spirit. But Mr. Duncan, why... They'd tan my hide if I gave away an assault tron. Here, 
you may take the Protectron. You can find it in the adjacent room. It was slated for one of the lesser clans in the region. The Garahans, or some such. Mr. Duncan, I'm sure, would be thrilled to keep it in the family. No, 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 no. Ah, dang it, I forgot. I'm not, uh... I don't have any... The high enough dialogue to... I think we can still get the Assaultron, but we're not bringing the Protectron back. I'm sorry, but I simply cannot. The price of such a machine, even before its noted uptick in demand, was in millions of dollars. Hmm. Bottle caps? Actual trash? Hmm. Then it's likely safe to presume the amount you'd need to offer is in the mid ten figures. Oh! Well, luckily I have the charisma. Caps are much more valuable. Easily ten million to one. But I'll cut you a deal. I'll give you one whole cap for the body. If this works, I swear I'm probably gonna face bomb. Is that so? Mr. Duncan are so very risk averse. Uh, fine. Here, you may collect it upstairs. <laughs> Fool. Yeah, he fell for it. He. I just bought an Assaultron off him for a cap. Uh, if you want, there's a Mr. Handy model up here. Right here. Yeah. Wait, Mr. Handy? Oh, little model figurine right here. Oh, it's so cute. I shall name you Mr. Fingers. Or not. Nope. Nope. Not. Uh, I did not think that through. <laughs> I did not think that through. <laughs> I did I seriously did not think that through on the on the name. Oh yeah, if you want some uh crystals, just uh watch out because if you trigger these, the uh turrets will shred you. Well they'll at least yeah, shred me. It, it would definitely suck for me because uh considering my controller is like it's messed up to the point to where uh the the moving joystick uh, did you did you bump something? Did you bump something? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I swear. Because I stood right here. Uh, I, I guess if you uh, disarm too many of them, it just automatically triggers. It did the same thing whenever I was playing on Xbox, but. But yeah, I have a messed up controller to where it'll uh, decide to push me to go forward. Uh, I don't know if you play Fallout 4, but do you remember uh, sneaking into that one place where if yes, your companions... Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm pretty yeah. sure if I just mentioned lasers and that one place, I'm pretty sure that pretty much uh, will tell you. It wasn't even the lasers that were scary. Nah, it was the laser machine guns that were scary. I think it was either... They were either laser machine guns or they were uh, they were the high-powered miniguns. Okay, well, we got the thing planted. Uh, if you want to... Oh, an HH38 capacitor. Don't know, don't know what that is, but... Uh, but yeah, I remember I was trying to disarm that... The uh, lasers on that one. What the hell? Nope. I remember I was trying to disarm the lasers on that one. And, uh... Then, all of a sudden, there goes Dog me walking into the lasers. Like, I am genuinely, I genuinely think that Dog me was trying to kill me. I wonder if you've ever played uh, The Last of Us. <laughs> uh, we were uh, supposed to go underneath the uh, explosive tripwires. And then sometimes, uh, what's her name, will ignore Ellie what's supposed to uh, what she's yeah Ellie will ignore what she's supposed to do, which is you know stop behind you. Instead, she like uh it'll glitch out and she'll walk forward, right into it and it'll kill you. 
Well, I've never really played Last of Us, and especially after the story for the next one got leaked and all, I yeah. kind of don't have any desire to play the next one either. Now, uh, I presume you found something that'll work for someone with my natural charm and gravitas? Yes, I did, Polly. I found you a nice new bunny. Your body is a jug of moonshine. You'll like what I've got you. <laughs> I think I scared the level 20. <laughs> uh, it's like, I would go with this one, but they've all been very nice to me, especially Polly. And I really like Polly, so I'm not going to be rude to her. Now that's what I like to hear. Seriously, thank you for sticking your neck out for me. It's true. You've worked real hard putting things right for us. None of us are going to forget what you've done. But that really just leaves one last topic for us to discuss. Doesn't it? Crane, you ready to listen? I'm just warning you, I can't guarantee you're going to be happy with what I'm about to say. Well, after everything that I've been through, yes, I am ready to hear about Crane. So please, just tell me what I want to know. There's a problem. And what is this problem, Duchess? Okay, I'll... Oh. And we'll... Honey? You awake? You wanna give him a little nudge? Oh, jeez. says anymore. Boy is key. Jesus, Duchess. That thing's been up here the whole time? That thing is Crane, Solomon. And what exactly would you have liked me to do with him? Put it out of its misery. Those things are killers, Duchess. Look, look Polly and I have the scars to prove it. I don't recall yielding the floor to debate here. You agree with me, don't you? Ah, uh, jeez. I mean, yeah, he is a he is a scorched, but clearly he has some memory of who he was. So, plus, I mean, after playing Fallout for a while, I mean, we know there is technically a cure, at least a way to keep you from getting infected but that that's just one step into getting a cure so uh yeah i do there's still a person in there exactly okay fine but that person is fucking dangerous and those things they nearly killed polly and i once i can't let that happen to the rest of you i promise i'll do it with dignity but i'm killing this thing if no one else is going to Solomon, I wasn't even thinking of. You're, you're right. Do it. Thank you, Duchess. I'll make it quick. Unless you want to take care of it. Hey, uh, Chaos. Uh, got a question for you. Uh, yeah. So. The guy that we're looking to, that we're looking for that had the information, he's a scorch tied up in the like in their attic basically. Should I have him like should I have him put down or let go? That I honestly don't really know. Because he has some memory of who he was, so I don't know. Like, here are the options. No, you're talking about murder here. Is that what you want to be, murderer? 
you do it, Saul. I'll do it. But what if there's a cure? Well, I mean, to be honest with myself, I would kind of, kind of go with what what do I think about the scorched, and then I'd go back onto my uh, memory of dealing with the constant scorches whenever like uh you know attacking a scorch beast queen or whatever <laughs> and uh you know you get down to like almost one shot and then a scorched enemy is like oh hello there <laughs> yeah but so. the scorched i mean you can't they're like the feral ghouls you can't really blame them like because scorch beasts are what did this to them so yeah um, I kind of look at it like this. Uh, you take a ghoul, for example. Uh, a normal ghoul, not a feral ghoul. A normal ghoul is good in terms, so you don't naturally want to kill them. You kind of feel bad for them because of how they're always treated. Well, a feral ghoul is evil and wants to kill you no matter what. Uh, and will also kind of go after their own kind, but... That is from what I've understood in this game, while as in Fallout 3, they didn't really necessarily attack each other. But in this game, as for the Scorch goes, is we only know a hostile side of them. Yeah, so I'll I'll just let Saul do it, because we can't let him suffer like this, so yeah, I'm choosing that. All right. Do you mind if we just take a moment? Of course not, Duchess. According to that map, the treasure is in some kind of special cache tucked away inside Gauley Mine, sealed away behind a key card. Also, uh, mine. Would you like some dialogue, dialogue, dialogue? Son of a. Does that. Did Crane lure those damn things here when he found the cache? Suppose we don't need to feel so bad anymore. Solomon. Too damn soon. Sorry. Now, this cash. I tried to check it out myself, but I didn't get real far. You're already intimately acquainted with Gauley, so I suspect you've got the best shot at actually laying hands on whatever's in there. So, here are my terms. I will let you keep said map and access card. No strings attached. As payment for everything you've done for us. But I need your word you'll come back. Buy a drink every now and then. Uh, got a deal, Duchess, as long as I get the stuff. Now, is there anything else you want to discuss yeah. before heading out? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to ask what boy is key means because I already know what it means. So, uh, see, so yeah, I got some a little bit of editing to do to try to get this down to 20 minutes. So, yeah, I'm just going to end this video here. Next episode, we'll go pick up the uh, the treasure, and then we'll go from there. So, yeah. That is going to be it for this episode. So, with all that being said, thanks all you so much for watching. If you like to subscribe, leave a like, and as always, please leave a comment down below. Because it comes out of the only way I can improve on these, and I love chatting with y'all. Also, I have another channel, Antilles Gaming. That is my main channel. If y'all want to check out more of a variety of games i do i don't have i'm not set to a specific type of game so yeah i'll have a link down in the description for that and with all that being said i will see all of you out there in the wasteland